I mean, communication really is the, that's the foundation for everything we do as clinicians. We tend to get focused on the, you know, the technical things, the things we do with our hands, the, the treatment, yeah. the assessment. And I'm not knocking that at all. It's incredibly valuable. And there's a lot of skill involved in that. Communication, though, is really what allows you to do all those other things. Because you could be the best diagnostician in the world. You could be amazing with your hands, come up with a brilliant treatment plan, give all these great rehab approaches. If you can't build trust and rapport with that patient, it's not likely you're going to get the opportunity to use those other skills. Mm -hmm. And if you can do that and the patient trusts you, that's going to help them to relax. That's going to help them to open up. We know that's important for calming down with fight or flight. That's good for healing. But it also is actually going to improve the effects of your hands-on treatment or your right. rehab or whatever else you do. So right. it really unlocks everything. But I know how to do that because I'm a calm, confident, reassuring <laughs> character. And surely that's all I need to be in terms of getting the best out of my patients. That's certainly part of it. That definitely right. helps. But there's, there's a lot more to it than most of us think. Most of us tend to find an approach that... You know, we'll build our confidence, we'll, we'll learn how to talk to patients, we'll learn how to you know, connect with them to a degree. But what most of us find is that there's some patients that just speak our language, that we naturally connect with, we gel with, we get on very well. There's some patients where we, we do a little bit, about 50% of people, there'll be a bit of a matching style, but not completely yeah. our style. About one in four patients, though, will have a clashing communication style to us. And these tend to be what we call difficult patients. The so, patients who piss us off. Yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, okay. And there'll be ones that we tend to think they don't listen, they don't really understand, they don't get it, or we might start taking it as, they, oh, they don't really respect me. And we start coming up with all these reasons as to what we think's going on in their head. A lot of the times, it's actually just a different communication style, and we're not able to read it and interpret right. what's really going on with that. Yeah.